Roswell Flight Test Crew here. At the February 2013 meeting of PDX Drones, we heard from our fellow hobbyists as well as commercial operators about the potential negative impacts of Oregon Senate Bill 71 and other anti-drone measures. Well, we wanted to let you hear from them directly about their experience with technology and all the great things you're doing with it. I uh, love this hobby. Uh, I see this as the future, and I think this is a burgeoning industry that uh, is only going to keep growing. It's going to bring a lot of jobs to the state of Oregon. I, I hope that this is around for many years to come. I want to get my family involved in this as well. What I want to talk about is drones and how their commercial use is enormous. It's the next big revolutionary technology and I think innovation and creativity will come out of this sector. And I think it's important from an economic and commercial standpoint to really support this and support in Oregon and support in the country so that we'll be leaders in aerospace as we've always been. We've been operating drones commercially for almost six years now. We have done jobs for the city of Portland, for the federal government. Uh, we see an incredible opportunity for everyone involved to promote jobs and growth. You know, we live in one of the most beautiful states in the country, and for us, the beauty is to be able to go out there and capture that beauty, and it's very rewarding. You know, six to eight minutes of flights means a lot. Technology is going to come from us geeks out there, tweaking and adjusting and trying to get to the next good thing on a flight. We develop multi-rotors. Um, we develop all types of multi-rotors for FPV and stuff. I have over 20 years of experience in flying RC models. Um, we're looking at this as the next level for us. We really want to continue to do this. Let us regulate ourselves. We, most of us are ham operators, so we already have um, laws that are in place for us to do the things that we want to do and rules and regulations on the things that we can't. I make my living making software for UAVs and I'd be excited to keep doing so. I think it's going to become a huge industry and create a ton of jobs. I think drones are important because the best part of my wedding was when we had a drone fly over our venue and film it from the sky. And I'm hoping that I can gift that to all of my girlfriends for their weddings to have their weddings filmed from the sky because it's one of the best ways to capture that memory. It might seem silly, but it's important to me. The broadness of this bill just makes it so you can't fly anything, kite or balloon or anything, with a camera on it. And it makes it a crime to even own that kind of equipment. So I'm very against this bill. I think it infringes on everybody's rights. It's kind of an immersive. You, you wear some goggles and you, you put yourself in the perspective of an airplane and you get to explore the world from a whole new view. It's like Google Earth, but real time. My dream is to someday use it to make money by filming things. I, lo I love extreme sports and I'd love to film extreme sports. They're all filmed with real helicopters these days from, for the aerial views and it's expensive. It's a lot cheaper to go with a multi-copter. This bill would completely destroy any hopes and dreams that Oregon has of maybe being the home to some of the greatest uh, aerial photographers in the world. Well, I haven't really even built my first craft yet, but I'm really interested in it based on the research I've done over the last three months. And I get to this point and I realize it's about to become illegal in my state and I'm really concerned about that. Uh, I'm ready to really dive into the hobby and um, I don't want to see it go away before I'm even off the ground. And I think there's a lot of good that can come from this technology in terms of just uh, recreational use, photography, and yeah, even engineering and map making. It's some pretty amazing stuff and I think it'd be a real shame um, if it was just done away with, with uh, blanket regulation. I got interested in this for first person video uh, using adventure sports photography. Uh, I'm currently flying a, a, a hexacopter, an ideal vantage point. Um, it allows us to take some really unique uh, shots with a $12,000 piece of equipment that ordinarily would take a $500,000 helicopter and it's far safer for everybody involved. I've actually got a machining manufacturing company and uh, we just recently spent $250,000 buying building a larger machine to build a little bit bigger uh, hexacopters. They're about 48 inches in diameter because the ramifications of what we can do with this technology is incredible. Applications for search and rescue with, uh, uh, with floor cameras, uh, avalanche rescue, 
Um, things where you couldn't fly a military or civilian helicopter, we can do with a small hexacopter because it, realistically it's disposable if we have a problem and life is at stake. The, this bill is actually going to, is, would kill the uh, technological advancement and this is actually going to happen in the private sector, not the public sector because uh, the governments don't have any funding to, funding to go anywhere. This has the ability to open up just incredible uh, resources to state and local government. Public Laboratory flies, uh, we fly kites and balloons. We actually got started around a kite and balloon mapping uh, of the Gulf oil spill. That's how we came together. Whether it's kites and balloons or high altitude balloons, rockets, UAVs, uh, RC planes, uh, amateur and educational aerospace and the ability to use those tools for real world applications is, is the window that most people get and the entry people most, most people get into aerospace. It's going to be a major driver of our future and of the future of industry and environmental monitoring especially. Killing these things is, uh, is going to stop that. It's going to stop a lot of beautiful uses like uh, forestry management. I'm in touch with people who are looking at monitoring the canopies of forests with drones and that, th those, are, those are fantastic things and uh, we, should, we should really look on the bright side and at the positive use cases for these things. Obviously um, being a business owner and seeing the potential that this equipment can provide um, in more of a positive context such as hyperspectrum photography, GIS type mapping and research, air modeling and air sampling. The list can go on and on of the positive attributes that these uh, equipment can provide. I as an owner had a very vested interest in the safe deployment and operation on keeping everybody happy and keeping my tail out of trouble by deploying my aircraft in a sensible, smart fashion to make sure that what we can do will get, continue to grow and provide service and jobs and uh, a technological industry that's really starting to explode and boom. Everybody takes the safety aspect of, of this hobby very, very seriously. It's really nice to be the safety officer of, of an organized club because I really other than setting some guidelines, I don't really have anything else to do because everybody is so safety conscious. It's a very positive hobby and a very positive experience for everybody involved. Well, overall, it's, uh, I'm uh, wanting to uh, develop this industry uh, for the future. Like, when I grew up in high school and college, I never had this technology. And so for me to have a job in this industry, uh, I would like for my kids to have it. My daughter is nine years old. Uh, she's still in uh, school. And so I'm teaching her and developing her for robotics, for science, for education, engineering, so that in the future, this industry will still be alive. I'm looking out for the best interests of my family and then my, uh, my family or my daughter's uh, future, uh, developing her into this industry, robotics, unmanned systems, and so forth. And the reason I'm opposed to Senate Bill 71 is because I think there's a huge opportunity for Oregon to generate thousands of jobs, uh, high paying jobs for local citizens. And I don't want to kill an industry before it's shown its true full potential. This reminds me a lot of the microcomputing revolution. And we have uh, these things happen to fly. It's nascent and um, starting uh, to, to find purpose. And I think um, one of the positive aspects of uh, these flying devices is the ability to move goods and services within a local community. In Oregon, being so sensitive to community, I would hope that um, we have the opportunity to explore this technology. Now, we hope that you'll share some videos with us showing the world what you're doing with this technology. Well, hope you enjoy watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe.